Mayong aga sa aton tanan. Uh, Buksan natin natin mga Bible sa 1 John chapter 3 from verse 11 down to 24. Kaga amo ina no ang uh, aton nga pag uh, himay-himay yon sa Siningaga. Magapang amo kita sa makadali. Lord, uh, salamat sa imong pulong nga uh, bukas sa amon nga atubangan nga uh, nagadala Ginoo sa uh, pagpanudlo. Hindi lang uh, para kami makahibalo sa huna-huna. kundi pagpanudlo nga naga-encourage, naga-exhort and admonish at the same time. Naga-comfort and also rebuke at the same time. Naga-pilas but at the same time nagakahil man kami sa imong pulong. Lord, uh, salamat kay inisya gina-apply sang balaan nga espiritu. And when we uh, are listening because we have ears to hear, kabay pa Lord yet we will respond in faith to what you Give us through your word by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Uh, simply lang gid, uh, ang uh, uh, for many of us nga nagapadayon sa pagpamati, uh, no? Sa so, First John, if you have not missed anything, uh, makit anaton that uh, John in writing the letter, the First John, the letter, First John is the epistle. Uh, lain ang magplastar siya sa istorya. Sa tuod lang gid ang ining uh, mensahe will again be repeated in the next chapter. Uh, chapter 4. It's love. Love gya pun ang issue. And uh, the first six verses in chapter 4 actually is also will be a repetition of what we took up when we talked about the truth. So ang nagastand out gid sa letter, no truth obedience, love. On the other hand, may ginapakita man siya. Nga kung ara ang ginuo sa light, may ara man deeds of darkness. So this book keeps on telling us the same thing in different angles. So sa Sininga Aga, no, love from life. The idea is very simple. Very, very simple. The Christian... by his nature loves others kon kristohanon ikaw ang imo nga nature is really to love others now please note nature ni siya no nature ang ah, magsiling kita nature kinaiya hindi nimo gina hindi nimo ginahimo para mangin amo ikaw sina And uh, it's very important to understand. Uh, siguro, let me start by uh, telling you first na kinaiya sang ido nga magataghol. Kay ido siya. But strange, no? May mga ido nga ibang dula sila yung taghol, no? Uh, kinaiya gidya sang ido. So generally speaking, kung sin- bisan sino nga tao ang imong uh, pamangkuton or naka-experience, makasilingit sila, uh, ido na siya, no? Kagakos yung ido, gataghol. Because ang iduk nagataghol. So it is the nature of a dog to bark. Pero kita, tawo kita, kun magtaghol kita, wala kita nagahimo iduk. Itry nyo na karon, no? Nga instead nga magbugnuhan uh, ay kita, hi, hello, mataghol kita. Now, bisan magtinaghol kita no sa risaring aton nga pagtaghol, sa risaring ido nga ginasunod naton, magtaghol, pero I think you are convinced that it will not make you a dog. Basta no nagtaghol nako, ido nako guro no. Ido nako, hindi. So hindi na lain no, ang Bible wala siya nagatudlo nga tungod himuon mo ni mangin amo kasi na no. Uh, ini ang uh, aton nga passage subong is Because it is your nature. So magwa gina. That's why mamangkot ikaw no dako dako ginya question mark sa imo. Kun makita mo si Shane ang ido tadi nga nagalabay-labay no. Nagulpi lang pagpalapit niya sa imo, nagulpi lang siya nag meow. So wala ka hindi na siya natural sa imo pamatyaga no. Siguro ma kuba-kuba ang dughan mo. 
siya ni Ayhan? Or basi ang mga koreng din nagsulod sa iyang espiritu? Ano ang natabo? So, generally speaking, kung magtaghol si Shane, hindi kita makibot. Pero kung mag siya, nag-question kita dayon. Nga, ah, kay idu man na siya, nga ah, nag siya. So, I hope that is clear. So, this morning, let me share three things. Unagid, love proves. Ang gugma, nagapamatuod. Anong ipamatuod niya sini? Actually, ginapamatuod niya ang aton nga nature. That's number one. Number two, love works. Magsiling kita, love works. Makita na to, no? Nga ang gugma, nagapangita sang iyang expression. May expression ang gugma. Wala nagapabilin ang gugma, nga gugma lang. And finally, love assures. So, love proves, love works, and love assures. Kay ang Kristuhanon, by His nature, loves others. Masugod ako. The first point is taken from verse 11 down to verse 15. Siling niya, no? Amo ini ang mensahe, nga ato na batian from the beginning. John really loves to use the phrase from the beginning. No? This has been there. No? From the beginning. That we should love one another. We should not be like Cain, o kung si Cain, who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brothers righteous. Do not be surprised, brothers, that the world hates you. Now, this is the verse that proves to us that love really proves. Verse 14, we know that we have passed out of death into life. Paano natun mabal? Ano? This is how we know that we passed from death to life because we love the brothers. Paano natun mapamatudan? This is what tells us no? that love proves ang gugma nag-approves ang aton nga nature. Ang nature sa paghigugma. Siling niya, whoever does not love abides in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Very clear, no? Ano ang ginapamatuod sang gugma? Nagapamatuod kung ikaw may gugma sa iban, diri ang ginambal niya, utod, no? Unagid diri sa iglesia, sa church gid, unagid, no? Sa mga fellow ni mga mga kristuhanon. Ang karakteristik gid yan sang isa ka kristuhanon, gugma gid. So, pamalandungan na ito, nanay, no? Mabalik kita sa illustration sang idu. Kun idu ikaw, kag 2 years ka na kagula ka taghol, dugo ka mangkot kag sa imo self, no? Ngay ko gataghol man. Nga nagakanta ko ya man. Nga nagasmile ko ya. Dugo ka pamangkot ka na sa imo nga kaugalingo, no? Imagine 2 years wala kaya kaagi taghol. So maybe may diperensya imo nga throat basi. Diri ang iya ginpakita, no? Very simple. Siling ya. Ang ginaghatag sang negative nga illustration. Anong negative nga illustration ginhambal niya? We should not be like Cain who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. The story is found in Genesis chapter 4. No, si Cain, kag si Abel, kag nag-offer sila sa ginoo. And by the way, no, uh, when I uh, preached on Genesis chapter 4, I don't think it is really essentially about the offering. That one has blood, the other one has no blood. Because si Cain is a worker in the field. Kag sa, sa mga offerings, pwede kita maka-offering sa mga grains. So, hindi ang issue, party sa offering. Kag sang nag-offering sa, sila sa ginoo, ang iya ni Abel, ginbaton sa ginoo, kag ang hambal sa Bible, no? tungod sa imo, tagipusuon, so, ginhambalan siya, no? sin is crouching at the door of your heart. Kain ang problema, hindi offering, ara sa imo nga tagipusuon. And because ang ina nga hatred, iya nga nurture sa iya nga tagipusuon, ano ang iya ginubra? Ang hatred nga ginanurture nimo sa imo nga heart, 
will eventually end up in murder. Kay amo na siya ang pinaka-peak no? ng kagatkantuan sang sinaka hatred. So masugod ina anay. Kung kis ano, gasugod na siya sa lain nga bagay. Diin siya nagsugod ang sa kay Cain, nagsugod siya actually sa envy. Hisa ko ba? Pagkahisa, anong nakatabo na siya pagkahisa? Nagkakasuya ka. Pagkasuya ni mo, nagaano ka? Nagabitter ka. Tapos tugon nagabitter ka, nagalain ang buot mo, nagahate ka. Tapos nagadalo mang imo nga hate, nagahimo siya nga grudge. Tapos nagagrabi na ang grudge sa imo nga heart. Ano na ang intention sa imo nga huna-huna? Murderous. So ang Kristuhanon sila nga no? we should not be like Cain. Amo nang natabo no. Kagrabe no kung basahan mo Genesis chapter 4 sang ginpatay ni Cain si Abel. Ginpamangkot siya no. Where is your brother? Diin ang imuutod. Do you know what he answered? That's the famous line. Nga? Anong sabat niya? Am I my brother's keeper? Ano ang labot ko sa akong utod? You see? That hatred nga nagpuli uh, sa murder is actually an indifference of the heart. So, karakteristik ni Cain. That's why, no? Ang inisya nga idea naghambal si John, no? In 1 John, very clearly, anong hambal niya? Cain, who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. Of the evil one. Simply put, he is of the devil. At tanawa nyo bila earlier, no? ginawali ni Brother Arniel sa ato, no? Ano si Lingyo dila? Araw? Ang uh, karakteristik, ha? Chapter 3, verse 7. Little children, do not, be, do not let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous, and as he is righteous, whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. Karakteristik, hindi mo na sa maislan. Ang yawa, yawa gid. Hindi mo ma-change ang iya karakteristik. He has been sinning from the very beginning. Uh, nanamian ko no? because uh, if you read 1 John I think it is essential that you also have to read John the Gospel of John uh, basahon ko sa inyo no? John chapter 8 sa so John chapter 8 may okasyon dira no? nga si Jesus nagatubang siya sa mga religious leaders tanawan ninyo yung conversation no? John chapter 8 John chapter 8 uh, verse 39 naga Naga, ano sila, no? Ga-istoryahan sila ni, si, ni Jesus, no? They are going against Jesus. Maybe I'll start with verse 34. Uh, nagsiling si Jesus. I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. And then later he says in verse 36, If the Son sets you free, you will be free. I know you are offspring of Abraham. But here is the problem. Ang ininga mga religious leaders, nagaklaim sila, kay descendants sila ni Abraham. We are descendants of Abraham. That's why we are from God. Ari ang inyong problema, no? Nga, ah, you know you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me. Let me jump. Verse 39. Siling nila kay Jesus, no? Abraham is our father. Siling ni Jesus. If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now, you seek to kill me. A man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. I am telling you the truth from God, and yet you seek to kill me. Kagtanawa kung paano nag-progress ang istorya hanay, no? Verse 41. You are doing the works of your father did. Siling sa mga mangin alamon ng mga religious leaders. We are not born of sexual immorality. We have one father, even God. Uh, nakita niyo conversation? Nagahambal si Jesus sa ila, something's wrong with your nature. All the more, ang ila ginahambal, ginaprove nila by profession. Hindi. We are descendants of Abraham. In, in fact, hindi lang kami descendants of Abraham. We are also descendants of God. Halingit kami yan sa ginoo. Ginaprofess nila, ginaconfess nila. 
And yet, ang ilang action baliskad. And why do you seek to kill me, the one who tells you the truth from God? Kag nagaprogress ang ilang nga istorya, siling ni Jesus, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and I am here. I came not on my own accord, but He sent me. Why do you not understand what I say? It is because you cannot bear to hear my word. Look at verse 44. You are of your father, the devil, and your will is to do of your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and has nothing to do with the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character for he is a liar and the father of lies. Ano ang point? Hindi ang imo nga profession ang naga profession ang imo ginahambal ang imo i-confess ang nagahimo sa imo or naga-change or naga-prove sang imo nga nature. Bisanano pa naton magpuli kita karon no I, we will convince each other idugit kuya pastor ay <laughs> bina po basta ang ginaano mo ko idugit kuya tanaw wala ka taghol ko indi ang imo nga confession nga ginapilit mo nga magtagol will make you a dog it will never it will never. Amuni ang natabo sa mga religious leaders. We are descendants of Abraham. We are descendants of God. And yet, their actions nga naga seek to kill Jesus proves that they are not of God, but they are of their father, the devil, who has been a murderer from the very beginning. And so, hatred and murder, these things, Things are actually characteristics of non-Christians. Nature, gidya. Mamangkot kita na. As we listen, mamangkot kita. Do I naturally hate or do I naturally love? Let's keep on asking that question. Nga ano? Why is it? Given any situation, ano ang gagwa? Is it hate? Is it murder? Or is it love? Your nature as a Christian will show that naturally, kung Kristuhanon ikaw, ang imugid nga disposition is love. When you have that, it actually proves that ang imong nga nature bag-o and that nature is God given. Uh, it is also proven no sang last nga wali na chapter 3. No one born of God, this is verse 9, makes a practice of sinning for God's seed abides in him. And he cannot keep on sinning because he has been born of God. May laingid, no? May laingid. If you are born of God. Ikadua, love works. So love proves. Ano gin proves ang gin sang love? Ang Love, nagpamatuod nga ang nature sang ginuo nga gugma ara sa imo. Hindi ang imo nga claim, hindi ang imo nga pag-profess, hindi ang imo nga pag-confess ang nagahimo sa imo nga bag-o, kundi work na siya sang ginuo. So, ang gugma nag-approve sang aton nga nature. Ikaduwa, ang gugma nag-work, nag naga express ano ang expression sang gugma 10 to 18 by this we know love so kun sa ulo nyo ang John 3:16 namit ni siya ipare sa 1 John 3:16 by this we know love how do we know love that he 
laid down or Jesus laid down his life for us. Now, please note, gin u nagin siya ni John, no? By this we know love. So the love that we know is something nga uh, hindi lang yan natin ginimuhimo. Uh, siguro, love is amuni. Love is known. And this is the love that we know. Objectively, may isa ka persona nga naghatag sang iyang nga kabuhi para sa aton. Jesus lay down His life for us. Kung kis, ah, no, kita nga mga Kristuhanon, nanami, ang git kita sini mag-celebrate, which is great. Gina-celebrate naton. Pero grabe, ang sugpo niya sini, nga ining a verse. He lay down His life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. Ah, hindi gali aton definition sang love. Oo, loving kuya, galove git kuya, Tapos kun ano lang yang gusto ko ilove mo na ya akon gusto ilove. No, ikaw ikaw lang no. Una git si John nagahambal sa aton. Ini nga love. How do we know this love? The love that we know is because he laid down his life for us. If you read John chapter 15, amo man na siya ang tono niya. Amo na siya ang tono sang lay down his life. No greater love than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ginhambal yan sa iyang mga disciples. Now, the same John tells us that we know love when we know that Jesus gave his life for us. But it doesn't stop there because it says, we ought to lay down our lives for others. Kung gusto mo pag specific, read on. Keep on reading. If anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? May praktikal siya nga ginhambal. Kagina, no? Uh, hindi na iya sa imo nga pag-claim. Iya, gaklaim ko iya. Iya ko iya sang ginoo. Pero wala expression ang gugma. Wala sa imo nature. So, hindi ni mo ma-prove ang imo nga nature. Sa imo lang iya nga ginaklaim. Diri, makita na ito no, namangkot si Jan. Paano nga ang gugma sang ginoo nag abide kun may isa ka tao nga may ara siya. This is really material things. Material goods. Kag nakita niyang iyang nga utod nga wala, and yet, ano, ano ginuimo niya? Closes his heart against him. Kung wala effect sa imo, natandaan nato na, tandaan na yung sitwasyon, no? may ara siya, may nakita siya nga may need, pero closes his heart against him. That is not Christian love. Because Christian love is laying your life for others. Specific, no? Tanawa ba ang ending? Siling ni John. For this point, Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. Very simple verse. Ang panawaga niya is piercing. Hindi kita pwede nga mag lang in word but also in deed. Amo na siya, no? Nga, ang SMO nag-partner din na nila kuha, no? Ang uh, ministry nga word and deed. That's why nagahatag sila, nagabulig sila, build houses, nagabulig sila into different ministries, word and deed. They are a group of people nga nagatipon sila sa mga fans kung sinong makitaan nilang uh, buligan, buligan nila. Pero sa ilang uh, pagbulig, hindi lang na sila nagahatag. That's why uh, the Tacloban Project nga ginpaagi sa SMO, ang natabo no, nag-build sang houses, nga naguba sa uh, Yolanda pa. Ang, uh, ang daku nga... Uh, ang kabugatan sa sinang project no because there was even a pastor nga nag-agi sa iyang ina nga project sa iyang nga mga kamot kag nag magic ang kwarta and that was very painful 
And when we reported this at, uh, to make things, no, uh, to, to amend, grabe, no? Grabe ang... Uh, hindi lang ko makatag sa mga details, no? Uh, we even went to Antipolo to meet with this pastor and really... By the way, mag, mag-amuni, wala ko naga ano, no? Why ko naga why ko naga publicly demean a person sa Facebook. I talked to the person, no? We went to the pastor, uh, deal with uh, what happened nga amuni, no? This money, in fact, is not any of us here. Hindi ni ato, no? Ginhatag ni para sa aton para ibulig sa ila, uh, things like that. And to, to make the long story short, uh, word and deed understood what the situation was and then ang ginubra nila, no? Naalang-alang ang project. So, ang ginubra nila, nag-raise sila liwat sang money. Imagine, no? Nag-raise sila liwat sang money and then they trusted us again because they knew it was not our fault. It was this person's fault and so natabo ang ginimo namon no gintapos gid ang project subong may ara na sila may houses sa palibot tapos sa tunga may ara sang center where they gather to worship because they do not believe that giving them houses will be enough what if they have houses and in the end be separated from God the houses are acts specific acts of love and by the way, they were given for free. Specific acts of love. But they also want to make sure that ang ini nga mga tao hindi lang mangin komportable sa ilang abalay kundi makilala nila si Jesus. We don't even know the many sponsors nga naghatag sang money. Do you see that? This is just an example. No? Maybe masiling ka medyo layo, no? Hindi ka naman palayo, no? Diri sa aton nga iglesia. We will always have the imbalance ang may ara kag sang wala. It will always be here. Kag ang panawagan sang ginuo sa aton kun nga ang may may ara, may ara nga may pigado para ano? Para ipakita sa aton nga ang sufficiency naton halin sa ginuo. And so when we give and help others sacrificially, it actually is nagapakita nga may bagungan nature sa imo. Kung ang unod sang imo nga heart ko ni hatag ko ni ano na lang ang akon, kung na muna permi ang aton nga hunahuna manginda look kita buot silingon wala sang pagbago sa aton dira. Wala bagungan nature. Pero matingala ikaw no, matingala kagit isa sa mga tao nga kilala ko gid. Para sa iya subong sa Murcia ga work no. Not rich, but made many people rich in Christ. Kagbisan sa amo lang na kagamay. Kung kisa amo ng aton, gina paminsar mga kautura, no? I'm going to very practical things here. Sometimes we think, nga tani, kung may ara lang ko, makahatag ko. Mga utod, kung may ara ka nga, bisan gamay, kag hindi ka kabalo maghatag, nga may gamay ka, hindi pagulatang nga may dako ka, kay hindi ka mangyapon maghatag. Really? Really? Hindi ka na, eh, basta wala ka na anad sa gamay, hindi ka na maghatag. Kay heart na siya. It's an issue of the heart. It's not, uh, it's an, issue, it's not an issue of your pocket. Tanawa bala kung may kwarta ka, ay salamat may 1,000 ko, ay salamat may 2,000 ko. The, my feeling, kagit pero nga, hindi ginaya enough. Sino sa aton na rin nagambal nga, enough na gidya kwarta ko yan. Ang muna na gidya. Namin na gidya. Enough na gidya. Bisan pila pa na. And so, kung hindi ikaw kabalo magulikid sa imo nga utod, you have material goods, pero hindi ka kabalo magulikid sa imo nga utod nga wala. How can God's love abide? So, ang pamangkot, no? Do you naturally would want to help others? I know this love that He gave His life for me and I ought to lay down my life for others. Grabe ang balay no? Lay down your life for others because sometimes it will take that. Sometimes it will take that. Simple, yet very, very strong and very, very profound. Love is coming from life. This is eternal life that comes from Jesus. The Christian, by nature, loves others. Love proves. Ano gina proves ang gugma? Our nature. Ikadua, love works. Love practically loves others. So maybe after hearing these two points, Masilinka, I'm guilty. Lain feeling ko, no? I think I did not love as I ought to love. 
Kanami sa first John, no? Because this is the same book nga nagahambal sa aton, ang Kristuhanon wala nagapadayon sa pagpakasala, pero wala nagambal ang first John nga ang Kristuhanon wala nagakasala. The same book tells us nga uh, hindi magpakas hindi magpadayon sa sala, pero wala naghambal si John nga hindi nakita makasala. Nagahambal gani siya no 1 John chapter 1 and 1 John chapter 2 makit anaton nga kun kita makasala we confess. Kun kita makasala may advocate kita chapter 2. Buot si lingon kita wala nagapakasala pero may mga tiun nga kita makasala. By the way, dako nga diferensya no. Ang nagapakasala nature na iya. Nakita kamo tawo nga every 10 seconds nagakadasma. Kakadasma ni saya every 10 seconds man. Nature niya siguro no? maybe something's wrong sa left right left right yang paglakat. Pero kita nga hindi nagakadasma every 10 seconds, wala kita yan nagakadasma. Nagakadasma man, but it's not my nature. Nagakadasma ako kay Amosin eh. So, ang first John, nag-assure sa ato, no, ang love, this love, this is the third point, third and last point. God's love assures us. Tanawa nyo bila, no? By this we shall know that we are of the truth and reassure our heart before Him. Uh, this is quite difficult to understand. For whenever our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart and He knows everything. Anong bot silingon sinaman? Whenever our heart condemns us, because the context is about love, the context is about the nature of the Christian that loves, the context is about really practically loving your brother. So ano ni siya ang heart nga nagakondem? When we fail to love as we ought to love, anong nagakatabo sa aton? Nagakagilty kita. Tag ang ina nga guilt, mga kauturan, kisa ginagamit na siya sa ginoo. Nga nagakagilty ka, tungod hindi na ni mo nature. Lain, no? Kung ikaw nagakabuhi sa sala, ang pagpakasala hindi na nagapagilti sa imo kun naanad ka sa pagpangawat hindi na nagapagilti sa imo ang cheating right kay nature mo na na ya this is just another way another time nature mo na ya pero sa tawo nga hindi amo na ang nature nagakakibot nga amo ni man so whenever our heart condemns us ano ang assurance sa ni John God is greater than our heart and He knows everything. Is that comforting? Kung ako wala na kahigugma sa akong nga utod as I should, God knows everything. God knows, God is greater than my heart and He knows everything. In short, when my heart condemns me, it makes me guilty. Here is what it is saying. God is greater than your guilt. And God can take that guilt away. Kung isipon, tagid, no? in a courtroom, sa tuod lang, gid, if you are guilty of one crime, no good thing can ever erase that crime that you committed. Example, Kun ako sa korte na pamatudan nga nangawat. Proven. Beyond reasonable doubt. Proven, gidya. Klaro-klaro, gid, nga nangawat ko. Hindi ako makaatubang sa judge kag magsiling ko, Judge, kwa ang pinas ang akon nga sala. Kwa ang akon nga guilt. Nga aman, kay wala ko yan kakumit adultery. Nagahatag kuya sa church. Early pa kuya. Grabe kuya mang laba, tinlo-tinlo. Pangugas pinggan. Ilista ko tanan. Ang pamangkot. Will that erase sang akon nga krimen nga ginhimo sa pagpangawat nga na pamatudan? It will never, never erase that. 
That's why when the Bible says God is greater than our hearts and He knows everything, He is telling us that only He can remove that guilt. Grabe no, it's the same book. Chapter 2. Ano siling sa chapter 2? My little children, I am writing these things to you, verse 1, so that you may not sin. Ginahasulat ko ni sa inyo para hindi ka mong magpakasala. But if you sin, if anyone does sin, we have an advocate, may ara kitang lawyer that will defend us. But it is not just a lawyer na magbinutig para magdaog kita sa kaso. Hindi amuna. We have an advocate, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. And look at verse 2. He is the propitiation for our sins. Ang imong lawyer is actually, the lawyer that defends you is actually the one who is your substitute and took away your sin. So ang ginahambal ni John, no? if at a point you failed to love the brother as you ought to, God is greater than your heart and He knows everything. There's someone who can erase your guilt. That's why nagsugpo po niya, no? Now that if your heart does not condemn us, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence before God and whatever we ask, we receive from Him because we keep His commandments and do what pleases Him. This is the only way that can remove the condemnation. What God did for us by giving us Jesus. Because nakuha na na siya, this gives us the assurance. That's why I'm on third point. You know? Love assures us. This is what assures us nga iya kita gyapon sang ginoo. Siya gyapon na makatinlo sa aton. Kag tungod siya makatinlo sa aton, nagahatag man ini sa aton sang confidence in prayer because we keep the commandments. Hindi ka na magpalayo, no? Magsiling si John gani keep the commandment is the same commandment that he has been talking about. You can go back to John chapter 13. There's the, I'm giving you this new commandment. I think that starts from verse 34. Love one another. Nga ang ginhambal na sa ni John nga new commandment. Gospel of John, John 13, 34. New commandment, love one another. Nga nagambal siya, love one another. Why is it a new commandment? It is a very old commandment. To love God above all and to love your neighbor as yourself. Very old. In fact, amuna siyang pictures ng Ten Commandments. Pero nga nagambal si John, si Jesus, in the book of John, new commandment. Here's the big difference. Love one another, John 13, 34, as I have loved you. That's the big difference. Nga ang capable ako subong maghigugma sa iban. Because that capability does not come from you. As I have loved you. That's why we have been singing earlier about the love of God. Because without the love of God in our hearts, we can never truly love. Pwede kita makalove outwardly. May picture siya nga love, pero hindi na siya matuod-tuod. Daw parihas na siya sang tawo nga nagataghol para magido hindi kagidya magido bisan sunod-sunod mo pa ang sound you will never that's why it's a new commandment and this is what gives us the assurance that we can come back siling yan no uh, this is the commandment that we believe in the name of his son Jesus Christ and love one another just as he has commanded us whoever keeps his commandments abides in God and God in him and this we know that He abides in us by the Spirit whom He has given us. That last sentence, we will also expound on that next week together with chapter 4, verses 1 to 6. This morning, ang gugma naghalin sa kabuhi. And every Christian by nature loves others. Love proves. Ano ginaprove sang gugma? Ang aton nga nature. Love works. Ang gugma naga express practically sa paghigugma sa aton nga otod. And finally, when we fail, it is the same love, the love of God assures us that our guilt can be cleansed and we can keep on loving others. Three questions ibilin ko sa inyo, sininga Una gid no. What and how sa imo mga quiet 
kag honest nga moment sa kabuhi nimo ano ang inclination sa imong heart ano ang inclination sa imong heart in your quiet moments quiet moments inang wala sa may nagatublag sa imo no inang gulpi lang gapang laba ka tapos gulpi lang na patay ang gripo wala tubig wala ka na himuon di ka kapamunlaw so nag wala tang tayo no and samtang nagulat ka Ano dayon nagsulod sa hunahuna nimo? Si Kwani Blaya do kanami ini nga si Iyay ay Amo na dayon. <laughs> Naturally nagsulod sa hunahuna nimo. It speaks of the heart. Ang katun tuwid mo si gagwa na dayon no? Gagwa dayon sa imong heart. When you come to church, anong inclination sa imong heart? Is it hate or love? Budlayan ka mag come to church if there is no, makit animo no this is contrary to the nature that God has given do i want to come to church to serve or i want to be served that's just the first question the kadamo question number two, practical love works who was the person you last consciously want to bless because you see the burden to help. Ah, hindi na mag-look away or look far. May mga upod kita dari sa simbahan. Sin o consciously. Ah, consciously. Because love is uh, not being indifferent. Na, conscious ka. Ay, ba't yan? Huwag ko na yung kabalugan na iya. Because you, you, because you, you might be too narrow looking. If you're only looking like this, na naman, wala agit kukuan ba? Wala agit kukuan ba? Hindi mo makita ang iban. Pero when you look around, makita mo, no? Ay, oo, gali, no? May need siya nga amusin eh. Do I naturally would want and consciously love that brother because I have this burden or sister because I have this burden in my heart? Uh, gamay lang man eh, pero uh, let, let, I, I hope, no? Si Manang Peroy, hindi mga akig, no? But si Manang Peroy, when there is something nga bululigan, she touches my heart. Because she gives naturally. She doesn't give millions. She doesn't have millions. But she gives naturally and it touches my heart no oh, i remember no pagambal niya nga sa kadis no Ma- mabuli ko dayon mahatag ko dayon no we have many other needs it comes so naturally and it touches my heart so thank you manay no? i'm not exalting you but I- i'm just thinking of a specific example sin o ang tawo nga nagpinsaran mo ini gusto ko ni siya i-bless i have this I think I can give this. I have material goods, no? According to 1 John, I think I can have, I can give. And finally, in what way does God's forgiveness make you want to love others? It is only when we understand that we are deeply forgiven and loved that we can love. Maybe you failed, no? I should have helped, but I did not. I was so selfish. But the Lord has forgiven you. He knows everything. Kabalu siya sa imong mga motive during that time. Ay, kalain lang sa ako niya motive. But you are forgiven. You are loved. Would you love again? Let me read this to close. By this we know love, that He laid down His life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. Let us pray. Lord, make us know. Make us understand. Agamuni Lord ang tuyo, mugit in 1 John, that we may know, that we may know, that we may know. Because many times, Lord, because uh, even if we know, it's as if we don't know. So, John keeps on telling us that we may know, that we may know. Jesus has laid down His life for us. 
And that is also a call for us to lay down our lives for others. Kabay pa, Lord, nga ang nature, nga gugma, nga ara sa amon tagipusoon will be expressed. First in the church and then to the world. Tanduga kami ginoo sa imong pulong. And may this church be a church who loves you above all. And because we have been loved, we will love others. Because we are yours. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.